Jalen Brunson dropped 37 points on the Lakers while not being the quickest or flashiest guard on the court. He's an example of a smart point guard who understands how to use their strength. Let's break down how you can too. First thing we should note is that in addition to strength, he also has a great change of pace and touch around the rim. You're going to see in this first play, he's going to go downhill, put the ball through his legs, jab, and as he drives, he's going to give the defender a little bump with his arm as he gets into a quick two-foot floater. Here we're going to see him attack downhill, and you notice as the defender sticks their arms out, he's going to put the ball into a gather, go through the defender's arms and into that two-foot floater to draw the foul. Now this play is where you really start to see him use his strength to his advantage. He's going to fake the handoff, immediately get into a post up against the point guard. He's going to back him down. Now as soon as he feels the help defense reaching on the other side, he's going to pick it up and he's going to spin right into space towards the baseline. And now he's going to use his touch to finish off the glass. This is kind of a side note, but I decided to include it because this is the type of play we see Luka Doncic do a lot as well. He's going to come off the screen. He's going to go into space and step into space. Now he's going to go up for the shot. And now at the very last possible second, he's going to dish out to the corner that the whole defense is focused on him. We see him using his strength a lot in pick and roll situations. So here he's going to come off the screen while Westbrook is guarding him. As soon as he feels Westbrook trailing, he's going to use his strength and put his body into him to try and hold him off. Here he was trying to draw the foul and get into the shot. He didn't get the call, but it's still the right decision. Brunson is very, very patient when coming off a screen and roll. Here Hartenstein setting him the screen. He's going to get downhill. Now he's holding Westbrook off until Hartenstein rolls and is about even. Once they're about even, he's going to continue to drive. He's going to jump stop into space. And here, this is where a lot of people would either dish it off or panic and throw up a shot. Instead, he's actually going to pump fake. And once Davis jumps, he's going to go up and finish with that touch around the rim. It's a little bit random compared to what we're talking about, but it's just an example. When you're in the NBA, sometimes you're not going to get a perfect pass like here. You just have to catch it and make the shot anyway. Here we see a really good example of the change of pace you need on the screen and roll. So he's going to hit the defender with a little half spin. He's going to float. After the float, he's going to cross the ball over and just explode into the screen. He's going to get into a 1-2 pull up and knock down the shot. But the key to that play was the change of pace that happened right before he used the screen. He was coming in at a slow pace and just went really quick off the screen. Brunson plays defense too. On this play, he's helping off of Westbrook and he's covering the roll man, which is Anthony Davis in this case. He's in a good position. He tags the roll man and he jumps back just in time to steal the pass from LeBron to the corner. Another part of being physical as a point guard is using your arms and your body to keep the dribble alive. So here Westbrook is pressuring him, defense is on him. He's going to keep control of the ball the entire way and he's going to get into the teeth of the defense before kicking out to a shooter. Your strength is especially useful on defense. Here we see Rui Hachimura trying to post him up and Jalen Brunson is holding his ground and he forces him into a tough shot that gets blocked eventually. Here you can see just how calm he plays. He's dribbling the ball up, he's not rushed, he's relaxed. He's going to go at Schroeder at a slow pace. He's going to give him a little bump right there, right before the paint, and step back into an open shot. This is a very similar play as before on the wing. This time he's going to bump Schroeder, but he's not actually going to get the separation he wants, and Schroeder's going to crowd his space. But Brunson's not going to panic. He knows he's going to pump fake, and he's going to step into space and finish with that touch around the rim. High, right over Anthony Davis's hand. Here he just makes a good read, and he's going to attack the closeout into the gap. So he's going to pump fake, attack the gap, he's going to pick up his dribble right before the free throw line, take one step, and shoot a nice little one foot floater right to the rim. 